Hello everyone, welcome to Park Maze. In this video, I am going to solve this nice math problem. That is, 9 raised to power x is equal to x raised to power 6. So we need to find the value of x. Now to solve this math problem properly, first of all we will write solution and we will rewrite this question in the solution again. So the question is 9 raised to power x is equal to x raised to power 6. Now to solve this question further, first of all we will try to eliminate this x from the power and from the left hand side. So to eliminate this x, we will multiply 1 over x in the power on both sides. So this equation will become 9 raised to power x taking 1 over x in the power is equal to x raised to power 6 and here is also taking 1 over x in the power. Now in next step, we will use the famous exponential property that is r s to power m whole raised to power n is equal to r s to power we will multiply the powers m times n which can also be written as r s to power n whole raised to power m just we will interchange the powers no by using this exponential property we can write this equation as 9 s to power x times 1 over x is equal to and here we will also multiply the powers x s to power 6 times 1 over x so on the left hand side we will cancel these variables x with x so here only 9 is left is equal to and here we can write these powers as x s to power 1 over x or s to power 6 no and next step we will try to eliminate this 6 from right hand side and from the power so to eliminate this 6, we will multiply 1 over 6 in the power on both sides. So this equation will become 9 raised to power 1 over 6 is equal to x raised to power 1 over x whole raised to power 6 times 1 over 6. So here this 6 and this 6 will be cancelled with each other. So the power will become 1. And on the left hand side, in next step we can write this 9 as 3 s to power 2 or s to power 1 over 6 is equal to in here x, x raised to power 1 over x is left. No, in next step here we will use again the same above exponential property and we will multiply the powers with each other. So it will become 3 to power 2 times 1 over 6 is equal to x to power 1 over x. So here we will simplify the powers 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 3 is 6. So this will become 3 to power 1 over 3 is equal to x to power 1 over x. Now here we will use this math property when a raised to power a is equal to b raised to power b. So this implies a must be equal to b. Here in this question, the bases are not similar with the whole power on both sides, but it is much similar with the number in the denominator. So we can compare these numbers as well, the powers or the bases. So let us compare the powers with each other. So it will become 1 over 3 is equal to 
1 over x. I only compare the powers with each other. We can also compare the bases with each other. So here we will cross multiply these numbers with each other. So 1 time x is x and 3 times 1 is 3. So the value of x in this math problem is 3. Now we will check that this value of x that is 3 is the exact and correct root of this math problem or not. So for this we will put that value in this equation. So we will do these steps here. We will write the equation again here 9 raised to power x is equal to x raised to power 6 and here we will replace x with 3. So it will become 9 raised to power 3 is equal to 3 raised to power 6. Now 9 raised to power 3 is equal to 9 times 9 is 81 times 9. And we can write 3 raised to power 6 as 3 raised to power 3 times 3 raised to power 3. Next, 9 times 1 is 9 and 9 times 8 is, is 72. So it will become 729 is equal to 3 raised to power 3 is equal to 27. And same, 3 raised to power 3 is equal to 27. And by multiplying 27 and with 27, you will get the same result 729. Now since both sides are similar and equal, so it means that x is equal to 3 is the exact and correct root of this math problem. And in loss, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel for more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself. See you in the next video. Bye bye.